What's all this talk about SegWit and legacy? Why do I have two different types of addresses in my wallet? Let's dig in and shed some light on what the differences are between the two. We're gonna hop into the Wayback Machine and return to the Neolithic days of Bitcoin, sometime around 2008. There was one address to rule them all, and they started with the number one. There was no such thing as a legacy address. There were only Bitcoin addresses. Now, fast forward to about 2016, 2017, it's around this time the Bitcoin block size debate started to heat up. And the primary question was, is a one megabyte block size large enough to accommodate all future use? Many talented developers tried to solve this and the solutions centered around taking a portion of the transaction and putting it on a second layer, therefore saving space on the main chain. This portion of the transaction is called the witness data and technically known as segregated witness. Without driving into the divisive politics of the time, the BTC chain moved forward with two types of addresses, legacy and SegWit. To add a bit of confusion, SegWit has two types of address formats. Here's how you can tell the difference between the three types of Bitcoin addresses. Legacy, those are addresses that start with a one. Nested SegWit, addresses that start with a three. And then native SegWit, or what's referred to as BEC32 addresses, all start with a BC1. All three addresses can be used to send and receive Bitcoin. So what's the difference? Well, for starters, not all wallets support all three address types. Legacy addresses are the original BTC addresses, and you can expect all wallets to support sending and receiving to these types of addresses. However, not every wallet or service has upgraded to support the new SegWit address format, and therefore, some wallets can only send to legacy addresses. Luckily, if someone wants to send you BTC from a SegWit address, your legacy address will be able to receive it just fine. Now in Exodus, you can receive to and send from all three address types. When using SegWit addresses, the network fees will be lower because the transaction data included in the blockchain is smaller. This sounds great, but the downside is not all wallets support SegWit yet. If you're an Exodus user, you're in luck because Exodus will send to all valid BTC addresses, legacy and SegWit. So which one should you use? Well, that's totally up to you. If you're a hardcore old schooler, legacy is the one you want. If lower network fees sound good, then SegWit is your choice. 